aid is now trickling through to Gaza after a day of violent clashes at the Rafah crossing. On Tuesday night, some 200 trucks containing humanitarian aid were stopped at the border. Now Egypt's agreed to let 158 of them through, carrying vital supplies to the Gaza Strip. This comes after Wednesday's protests claimed the life of one Egyptian soldier. Dozens of Palestinians were also injured. Protesters hurled stones at the police, taking a stand against the underground steel barrier that's been built between Egypt and Gaza to reinforce the blockade of the Hamas-controlled territory. Yet in Gaza, authorities stressed that the situation had calmed down and that the protests were peaceful. The Interior Ministry have performed their role of keeping order, dispersing the crowds and clearing the border area. The area is now clear and the situation is under control. Wednesday's protests were organized by Hamas. The armed group seized control of the Gaza Strip in 2007. Cairo's efforts to seal the border have raised tensions in the divided town of Rafah. The blockade on the Palestinian territory has been in place for over two years. It's aimed at preventing arms passing through the Rafah tunnels to Hamas. Yet Palestinians argue the blockade cuts off an already impoverished people from basic supplies.